Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we were not here. We had just finished up the whole quest line for the crossbows, which we now have the best version available, the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow. I also sharpened it up a little bit. As you can see, the value is pretty damn high. The damage, not so much, but that's because it's... Well, you know, <laughs> how ranged weapons go. That is basically how it is, because the damage is coupled on top of the damage from the bolts. So, it's still pretty decent. It also ignores 50% of armor, so there's that as well. Alright. What I was planning on doing this episode, after I was dropping a whole bunch of stuff in the house, all of that good stuff, I figured, since we now have all the blood we need for Septimus... Why not head over there and unlock that little dwarven lockbox he's been dealing with? That seems like it'd be a fun adventure, right? Yeah, about that. <laughs> you can adopt up to two children if you own a home with room for them to stay in. We already have one. I mean, we will probably adopt another soon enough. Just Lucia has like a special place in my heart. Because her story just breaks it. <laughs> All right. Now we'll get this done and over with. And I'm pretty close to my next level, too. Where... There he is. He's down here. Like usual. Whee! Ah! Ow. Dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Okay. When the top level I brought all the blood you back, require. I can almost... Hear them. Uh, I feel their life energy. Come, uh -huh. I will make the mixture. Okay, then. Open up the door for me, then. What was that? The half ass boo? Alrighty, I guess it's done. That was all that was necessary. Whoa. That is a uh, long entryway. What is this? It's it's just a book. I can. Whoa. Whoa. He didn't even get to finish. It's like the subtitles had like a whole thing. The fuck. Um, okay. He had basically nothing. Agma Infidium. Well. <laughs> Whole bunch of nothing. Alrighty. Holy tits! I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Okay. Come. Champion. Don't use that word. <laughs> Don't use that wording. <laughs> what now? Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. Okay, Sean Connery. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Okay. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work yeah. wonders together. Um. If you say so, buddy gonna say pal because it's not oh the frame rate's starting to shudder a little bit where's where the hell is Serana she was right behind me earlier guess uh, she's staying outside then maybe I don't know she was right behind me earlier all right I'm gonna head outside real quick see where the hell she's at the hell's bells uh, 
She probably went back to the frickin' place. God damn it. I hate it when the game glitches like that. Anyway. Now we have the Agma and Vinium. And that is right here. There used to be an exploit a while ago where you can just put it on a bookshelf and then read it over and over again. Uh, that's no longer the case. But, uh, here we go. Now the sea of knowledge rolls before you. Choose the section you wish, you wish to read. The path of might, the path of shadow, and the path of magic. We're going to go the path of might. Because that is what we do. Holy crap, it went to 82. And <laughs> 69. Heyo! 360 no scope. Okay. That's enough of that for me. And once you exit out, it's removed. And you can't read it again to get the same stuff. I've tried. Alright. Well, since we already did the level up, might as well. One in there. Oh. That was quick. Alright. I guess we got two levels out of that whole thing. Alright. The first one goes into smithing, so that way I can deal with ebony finally. Fuck yeah. Alright. Now, the next one. I don't know where to put. I didn't plot out this far ahead. Ah, uh, hmm. I can wait until I hit 70 and then get that so my heavy armor weighs nothing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Because I'm already starting to feel the effects of the weight. Because right now I'm at like 294. And uh, that's pretty much more than half of my <laughs> carrying weight. So yeah, I think we're going to wait until we hit 70 for that one. But that means I can get rid of the orcish armor and start running in ebony. Speaking of which, that means I have to head right back home and forge it up a little bit. So I'm pretty sure I have most of the set already. Should be in my house, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Along with all the materials to forge it up further. Yeah, my shoulders are kind of out of whack. Today was a long day at work. <laughs> Just leave it at that, shall we? A long day at work with a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Alright, Nord Belief holds that the honored dead live forever in Sovngarde. Alright, where... Is she... She's seriously not here? Oh, uh, boy. Oh, there's uh, some lunar moths, though. I need those. I could have sworn I saw another one. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting all the lunar moths I can. Because they are used for certain potions that are really, really good. Nah, I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think there's any more. Okay. In that case, I'll head back to Fort Dawnguard after I'm done dealing with this. Because apparently, Serana just decided to fuck right off. She has fucked off. Off she has fucked. Alrighty. There we go. Now, jeez, frame rate. Calm your tits. Five seconds. Okay. I could have sworn... Where is it? There it is. The ebony gauntlets and the ebony armor. Dragon Bane. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Anyway. Papa, you're Whoop. back. I wasn't out that long. Allowance. Oh, of course. Here's a thousand. What? Seriously? No way. Yeah. With this? Yeah I, way. I could buy everything in the market. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Aw. It's fun making her happy. Serana, where the fuck were you? This whole fucking time. You... Oh, what is it? You drunken little shit. Oh, my God. Sweetie. Papa! It's time for bed, Lucia. Yes, Pa. 
I just gave you an allowance of a thousand gold. Come on. You can do what I ask you, please. Alrighty. Uh, I have the armory workbench right over here. Nope, that's, that's the other thing. There we go. And I'm pretty sure I could, yeah, I make this too epic. Uh, okay. I need the ebony, and I also can make myself a new sword. That would be awesome. Once I get the fucking materials, stop forgetting them. There we go. Uh, 28 should do it, I think. Oh, Serana, darling, you're, you're in the way. Come on, move. God damn it. If you're not pretty, I swear to fucking God. Okay. Alrighty then. I'd be a little more angry with you. Great sword. There it is. Alrighty. Now this looks awesome. Let's pop this on. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, yes. That is the best. However... We are still in inferior armor. So let's pop the ebony armor and ebony gauntlets on. There we go. Look at that. I look badass. Alrighty. Gotta love it. Alright. Let's pop this up to epic. Along with this. And this. However, I do think I'll need to replace those with new ones. Because, as I recall, my enchanting skill went up. And it's now over what that particular item gives me, should I enchant it. There we go. Alright. Now let's make it up. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure I have all the ingredients on me to re-enchant these with the stuff I want. Hey, Lydia. Okay. Now, I need to double check the stuff I have. These would be two hands. Destruction. Okay. And that one is also destruction. Okay. I'm going to see first if there's any extra I can do with destruction. Yeah, 23. So I'm going to need to replace my whole setup at this point. Oh. Honored to see you again, my fame. Yes, I know, Lydia. But you're kind of in the way right now. I'm sorry. Just the way it is. Okay. And silver emerald necklace. And... Oh, yeah, I don't have any silver rings. Gold emerald ring. There we go. That is the stuff. Now we'll pop these on. And do I have enchanting potion? No, I don't really need it right now because I'm at tw I'm like 20 points under what I need to be for 100, and that would make it even better. So I'm not even going to bother. Uh. Enchant this with Fiery Soul Trap for three seconds. <laughs> That's a lot of uses. Alright, uh, Black Star for that. There we go. And this one's going to be Destruction and Magicka Regen. Oh, that's a lot of extra power from that. There we go. And I think... I put some of... what I put them? In here? Yeah, I put my extra soul gems in here. There we go. There we go. And... Gold Emerald Ring. For... This should be... Should I do destruction with this? Or... Yeah, destruction will probably be good. Or conjuration. I could do conjuration too. I do kind of need some in that. Yeah, we'll do it in Conjuration. Fuck it. Oh, I forgot to P 
pick this old gem. Oopsie, my bad. Okay, and silver emerald necklace would be two-handed. Ooh, that is a lot more. There we go. And ebony boots for... Let's look at this carry weight. That is quite a bit. Okay, we'll do it this one. And ebony gauntlets will be for the two-handed as well. There we go. There we go. Now let's see how much damage the sword does compared to the old one. Uh, I haven't uh, sharpened it, so that's probably why it's kind of below. All right, and maybe, there we go, 159 over 146. And considering the other one is basically Skyforge Steel, and the only thing that goes above that would be glass, and that's just barely. And this is actually pretty damn good. Huh, I actually just noticed there's a little notch in the top there. Huh. Well, anyway, we are now pretty much fully kitted up, ready for whatever comes our way. <laughs> All right, and pop these on. There we go. And it uh, drops a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. But eventually, we won't even need to worry about that because we'll be having two enchantments on one item all right now what I think we'll be doing is probably heading well first to a merchant to sell all of our extra crap that we don't need anymore uh, and then I think quite possibly we'll be heading to White River Watch because we still need to get the moon amulet for that Khajiit uh, from that one caravan. The main problem with that will be getting back to him. <laughs> that usually takes quite a fucking while. Because when you try to preemptively teleport to where he's not, he's usually far past that. So, you know, it is a whole thing. Alright, um... Yeah, I'd be right there, White River Watch. But first, we'll uh, head to Falkreath. Hopefully, uh, it'll be daylight by then. <laughs> yes, I could have walked there, I know, but... We're already teleporting around all the place, why not? Besides, the load time is still faster than transporting myself there by foot. Bretons are natives of High Rock. It is home to the oldest known structure in all of Tamriel, the Adamantine Tower, also known as Dereni Tower. Whoa! The fuck's with this? Jesus. Okay, it's 1.20 a.m. And all the guards are at the front gate for some fucking reason. Guard? That was weird. Okay. I'm going to see if this guy has anything when he wakes up. So we'll just wait on the fence here. Uh, for, I think, seven hours should do it. And we'll see what he's got to trade us for our old sword and armor. There we go. What the? Why are there vampires out here now? Okay, that is a whole thing. Vampire Night Stalker. Come on, dude. There we go. And there's one more over here. She's just attacking everything. Why can't I get over this fence? Jesus. Did they kill anyone? I hope not. It'd be really bad. Oh, and there's that one. 
Who's... Vampire, okay. So it's just another vampire. Wait, what? A dragon too? You kidding me? <laughs> Dragons and vampires in the same fucking day. God damn. I'm just gonna take whatever's on this one. There we go. I don't think anyone else died. Yeah, it doesn't look it. Just was purely them. Alright, well, that was a bit of <laughs> extra excitement. There we go. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I'll also end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And take a look at my Patreon down below. Decide whether or not you want to support me in doing videos for you guys. Or not. It's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat. Playing games for you.